This is Back to Basics, where we break down the basics of the Singapore election. This episode, we cover Parliament, constituencies, political parties, and how to vote. In the Singapore General Election, or GE for short, voters vote in Members of Parliament. But first, what is the Parliament? Well, there are people you see in photos like this, who make laws, serve as a check and balance on the government, and scrutinise the country's spending plans, i.e. the budget. There are three branches of government in the Singapore system and Parliament falls into the legislature branch which also comprises the President. But that's generic governance stuff. To get specific, who is the PAP? Who is WP? Who is SDP? To get into that, we need to go into something called constituencies. A constituency is an electoral division. It's like a voting district. Okay, essentially the government is split into smaller areas so that the residents living in those areas can be better represented. So instead of telling the entire government that the lamppost at your parking lot is broken, you can just tell that to the members elected from your particular constituencies. This is what the constituencies look like in 2020. From this map, you can see that there's something called an SMC and a GRC. An SMC means you're voting for one member, and a GRC means you're voting for a group. Where your area falls under, whether it becomes an SMC or a GRC, how many people are in that GRC, all depends on the boundaries that are redrawn each time. These boundaries are announced in the Government Gazette, which is an official journal of sorts that publishes legal and public information. So once the boundaries have been decided, how do I know what my constituency is? Well, thanks to the internet, there's a handy website for you to find out. And now for the drama. Politics. A lot of Singaporean politics revolve around something called parties. So who are all these parties and what do they do? The idea behind political parties is that its members share similar values and ideas, so you vote for them to represent your interests should the party's ideology align with yours. This means you don't have to vote for singular people and their individual ideas. During a general election, different parties compete over a particular constituency. For example, in 2015, People's Action Party competed against Workers' Party for five seats in Aljunit GRC and against Singapore People's Party for one seat in Mountbatten SMC. Who's competing who and where is officially announced after something called Nomination Day. This brings us to the big question of Singapore politics. Who or what is the PAP? To answer that, we need to delve into a little bit of history. The PAP, or People's Action Party, is the current governing party of Singapore, which means it has won most of the seats in Parliament. It won the majority for the first time 61 years ago, three years after its founding, and has won every election since. Often in conversations about political parties, you hear the term opposition being used. Opposition refers collectively to everyone who isn't part of the ruling party. Prior to the 2020 general election, many use it to describe the Workers' Party, which has nine seats in Parliament. But there are many other parties who are actively contesting in elections. Here is a list of the current active parties. So that's the rough context for Singapore's political landscape. Now we've come to the most important part if you're a Singaporean. Voting. How does one vote in a GE? Step 1. Be a Singaporean who's 21 years old or older. Step 2. Check to make sure you're in a list called the Register of Electors. There are multiple ways you can do this. You can go online, you can go to your community centres slash clubs or to the Elections Department office. Step 3. So you're on the list. Wait for a poll card to come in through the mail. It will tell you where your polling station is and this year, a time slot when you can go vote. Step 4. Vote! On polling day, go down to the address on your polling card with SID card and your IC, join the queue, follow the instructions and use the self-inking pen to mark an X in the box next to the people you want to vote for. Step 5. Congrats! You voted! Thank you for doing your civic duty. That was some basics to the Singapore general election. It was also a lot of information. Let's recap. Singapore voters vote in members of parliament. The country is split into different constituencies and political parties contest over the available seats in each one. The current governing party of Singapore is the PAP. And finally, the voting process. To end, here's something to think about. If you picked three political parties and looked up their ideas, goals, and recent campaigns, which do you think suits your personal values best? And that was ST's Back to Basics. 
Thanks for watching.